Welcome back, I'm Scott alongside Robin. It is Friday, December 21st, 2018. Nate shows off his bat suits and human tosses back a few before trying out a new chainsaw. Dirt Monkey predictably plays in the dirt and Tool Pig starts a tool fight. Those stories and much more coming up next. This is your Cop Tool Week in Review. In the spirit of Christmas gatherings, let's start off with some fights. Our favorite hooved Instagram star Toolpig started to revive the toolfight hashtag this month with a collection of head-to-heads between hammer drills, recip saws, and impact drivers. The format is quick and satisfying. Just how I like my- Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm just gonna say how I like my Instagram posts. You can find his tool fights on Instagram at Toolpig. More Instagram goodness this week as HD Carpentry posted about the Milwaukee One Key update that includes a public beta for a new geofencing feature. One Key users can now use the app to add perimeters to their job site or home base and get alerts whenever the tools leave the geofenced area. Not to be outdone by Milwaukee, DeWalt announced an upgrade to their own Tool Connect app featuring similar geofencing technology that instead of sending you an alert, it simply forces the battery to explode. It's time to take a moment to remind our viewers that using chainsaws while drunk is a bad idea. With that said, Human, a popular YouTube arborist, grabbed a few beers and proceeded to open, box, and review the steel MS-880 chainsaw. It'll get you drunk! It sure will. Human wastes no time painting the saw, then attaching an enormous bar, which he consequently finds fascinating. The next day, he takes the saw out for a proper testing, offering the kind of insight that only comes from professional tree climbers. It is worth a watch. You can find it at Human on YouTube. Stan, our favorite primate, posted a 34-minute review of concrete saws featuring four two-strokes, a single four-stroke, and a new DeWalt flex volt. He also grabs a couple different diamond blades and his team proceeds to put them through their paces. Now, he promises the best and the worst, but ends up offering praise to the entire group. The real surprise in the video was for the DeWalt. Every person who picked it up and tried the saw came away genuinely surprised by the power and portability of the battery-powered wonder. Stan wraps up the video with a tip for getting a free Husqvarna K770 every time you purchase blades, which is a great deal if you cut a lot of concrete. You can find the tip and the video at Dirt Monkey on YouTube. Sarah, it's your turn and I don't have a segue. Take it away. All right guys, Christmas is next week and if you are anything like me, you might have some last minute shopping to do. However, if you want to skip the traffic lines and general public entirely, well then here are some awesome project ideas to wrap up your gift list for 2018. First up this week, Anne from Anne of All Trades posted a video on her YouTube channel showing us the sweet handcrafted walnut dining room chair. It is the perfect blend of traditional and modern styles. She also hinted to a future video where she makes a modern rocking chair and honestly I cannot wait for it to come out. Be sure to check out Anne's projects and her fluffy little sidekick on her YouTube channel. And in this short, almost therapeutic video, Blackbeard Projects turns a copper pipe into a bracelet using hardly any tools at all. If you're looking for a last minute gift idea or just need to get some holiday anxiety out by pounding a piece of metal over and over and over again, then this is the project for you. You can find this video and many more at Blackbeard Projects on YouTube. That's it for me this week. If you find a project that you think I should feature on the show, go ahead and send it to me in an email at projects at coptool.com. Thank you, Sarah. Angle grinders are a uniquely versatile tool used by a lot of different tradesmen for a lot of different jobs. This week, the essential craftsman picked up a simple corded DeWalt example and took the time to not only review it, but gives us a look at his entire collection, walking us through the many uses, features, and styles of angle grinders. If you've ever had a question about these tools, we're pretty sure that this guy's got the answer. Although we're not sure you can trust everything that he tells you. I doubt I will ever take this guard off. Right. You can learn everything you need to know at Essential Craftsman on YouTube. We've all been there. It's a lazy Saturday afternoon and the Clooney's will soon arrive for afternoon tea when you notice your hedge maze is all kinds of fuzzy. If your team of gardeners don't get it looking Hamptons perfect, you'll never hear the end of it at the club, am I right? Well, hope is not lost. There's steel time. Get it? No. All right, so Steel posted a highly relatable video this week featuring their HLA 85 long reach hedge trimmer with a telescopic shaft. They were likely aiming for the professionals who use the tool on your hedge maze, but it doesn't mean we can't enjoy the video too. You can find it at Steel on YouTube. Before we check out for the holiday, let's take a quick look back at Instagram, where we found the French Canadian carpenter who shared a quick compare video showing off his new DeWalt Flexvolt rear handle saw and the original rear handle itself, the Steel Saw Corded Cirque. He demonstrates how narrow the performance gap is, only to concede 
the portability of the DeWalt is nearly balanced out by the additional weight it brings to the table. His conclusion? Both. 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 Both is good. Don't agree? Go make your own opinion known at French Canadian Carpenter on Instagram. As the weather continues to worsen this winter, be sure not to forget your boots. Built by Nate shows off a couple of his and asks the question, do you even bat suit, bro? Milwaukee offers a line of Batman armor, also known as protective boots, for your Milwaukee power tools. Now, the covers are fairly affordable and promise to protect your tool from bumps, scratches, and corrosive materials. Now, we look for a similar product for Makita tools, but as it turns out, they're actually tough enough for the job site. No, <laughs> We kid. If your tool is too fragile for the job site, you can learn more about it at Built by Nate on Instagram. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for us this week. Thanks for watching. Rob, what do we have to give away for the Earth? Fine so viewers. we have a special contest for you since Christmas is coming up. We have a Milwaukee M18 job site radio, so you can listen to all your favorite Christmas tunes while you work. That's right, so just head over to coptool.com slash contest for more information on how to be entered. Because Christmas is here, we keep talking about it, it hangs over us like it a dark is. shadow. Right, and it's in the middle of next week too. Oh, well, can't wait to have the week off. Okay, so yes, uh, along those lines. We're gonna be here next week. Our regular program will be here on Friday at noon, exactly like you expect, because I'm gonna drag Scott in during the holidays to get it done. So, don't forget to like and subscribe, because when you're sitting despondent on your in-law's couch, waiting for the Christmas holiday to end, you'll know when to watch episode 40, which is next week. So, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you then. Merry Christmas!